dear students we are learning integration chapter so in that one we have completed exercise 6a 6b so but in exercise 6b uh, we have some solved problems before this exercise so we are getting some we are getting two marks questions in intermediate public examinations from those solved examples also so now uh, i will write the problems so try yourself if you will not get then follow the method okay right so first problem integration 6x by 3x square minus 2 dx did you observe any logic in that one okay the logic is integration f dash x by f of x dx which is equal to log modulus of f of x plus c okay here we can observe the denominator derivative is numerator derivative of uh, denominator is numerator so integration f dash x by f of x dx is equal to log mod f of x plus c otherwise we can assume 3x square minus 2 is equal to t then uh, we will get automatically the answer so here observe the denominator is 3x square minus 2 the derivative of 3x square is 3 into x square derivative 2x minus 2 derivative 0 3 to 6 x we are getting numerator so obviously the answer is denominator log mod 3x square minus 2 plus c okay uh, if you write like this you will get two marks but provided that the condition is you should write the formula otherwise uh, let us assume 3x square minus 2 is equal to t then 6x dx is equal to dt then you will get integration 1 by t dt that is log mod t that is log mod 3x square minus 2 ok so solve yourself next in this one did you observe any uh, formula which which I provided in previous videos yes the formula is so here the derivative sine inverse x whole square we have immediately beside that we have the derivative of sine inverse x so what is the formula integration f power n x into f dash x dx is equals to f power n plus 1 x by n plus 1 plus a this is the formula okay now integration we have sine inverse x whole square immediately we have the derivative 1 by the root of 1 minus x square dx so directly we can write it as sin inverse x whole power n n plus 1 2 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 3 plus c otherwise let us assume sin inverse x is equal to t and solve it by substitution method next problem simple problem so this is looks like integration 1 by 1 plus x square dx but at the place of x we have 2x plus 1 no problem that is linear as it is linear we can apply that problem uh, formula also the formula is integration 1 by 1 plus x square dx is equal to tan inverse x plus c okay students you have to remember the formulas now what is the answer tan inverse at the place of x we have 2x plus 1 but remember before x we have a coefficient constant coefficient that we have to write in denominator plus c okay so integration f of ax plus b dx is equal to 1 by a f, de f of ax plus b right already we have seen and we have solved the problems related to this one so we have tried uh, the constant in denominator so our answer is 1 by 2 tan inverse of 2x plus 1 plus c simple next this type of uh, problems also we did so simple in denominator we have 1 plus x to the power of 12 so write the x power 12 as square form that means x power 6 whole square like this now simple the assumption x power 6 is equal to t the derivative of x power 6 is 6 into x power 6 minus 5 1 that is 6 x power 5 dx which is equal to dt now from this x power 5 dx is equal to what dt by 6 now substitute 1 by 
1 plus x power 6 whole square that is t square x power 5 dx that is dt by 6. So 1 by 6 integration 1 by 1 plus t square dt that is 1 by 6 integration 1 by 1 plus t square dt is tan inverse t. Let's see. So substitute the value of t that is tan inverse of x power 6 plus c. Okay, simple problems. But we have some interesting problems which uh, I am going to teach. Now, uh, these are some uh, what uh, different and important problems we are getting for uh, two marks questions on this type of problems. Integration sin x dx is minus cos x, already we know. But integration sin square x dx is, do not write it as minus cos x whole square. Okay, we will do by using trigonometric formulas. Okay, so that is convert sin. We have cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x from this uh, sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x by 2. By using this formula, we can solve this integration problem. Sin square x formula is 1 minus cos 2x by 2 into d, 2 dx. 1 by 2 constant right outside. Now apply integration uh, that is integration 1 dx minus integration cos 2x dx. Right? Now 1 by 2 into integration 1 dx is x minus cos 2x integration is sin 2x by uh, the coefficient of x right in denominator plus c. So this is the required integration that is 1 by 2 into x minus sin 2x by 2 plus c or we can multiply 1 by 2 inside that is x by 2 minus sin 2x by 2 into 2 4 plus c okay next cos cube x already we did uh, one problem that is integration sin cube x in x size so simple problem uh, we have cos 3 theta formula cos 3x is equal to 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x okay from this cos cube x is equal to 1 by 4 into 3 cos x plus cos 3x okay so that's why you should perfect in trigonometry also now cos cube x can be written as like this 1 by 4 constant right outside 3 cos x plus cos 3x dx. Now 1 by 4 into 3 into cos x integration what? Sin x. Cos 3x integration sin 3x by 3 plus c. Now multiply 3 by 4 sin x plus sin 3x by 3 into 4 12. Multiply inside. Simple problem but uh, you don't, uh, you will not get idea that uh, we have to write in cos cube x in terms of like this. That's why practice here. Practice this step and practice this step two, three times. So if we have sin square x or cos square x, convert like this by using this formula, uh, double angle formula. If we have to, if we want to find integration sin cube x or cos cube x dx, we should know the formulas of uh, triple angle formula that is sin 3x cos 3x from that we we will have uh, cos cube x and sin cube x by using that we can simplify next integration cos cube x into sin x 3x how how can we solve in that one we have one formula observe the logic that is the derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So, um, beside cos x, cos cube x, we have the derivative of cos x by simple modification that is multiply with minus cos cube x into minus sin x dx. So, here we have the formula that is integration f power n x into f dash x dx is equal to f power n plus 1 x by n plus 1 plus c. So here f of x is cos x power n that is 3 f dash x cos x derivative is minus sin x just apply the formula that is cos power n means 3 we have just increase 1 
that is cos power 4x by 4 plus c this is the answer minus cos power 4x by 4 plus c so uh, just by solving many problems you will get the idea okay so this is also sim similar type problem important problem for two marks so which is equal to integration sin power 4x by cos power 6x dx how can we solve here simple step remember this step that is sin power 4x cos power 6k 6x can be written as cos power 4x into cos square x dx so this is important step now simple sin power 4x by cos power 4x can be written as tan power 4x into 1 by cos square x can be written as secant square x dx so the conversion is very very important as we have sin power 4x so divide uh, split cos power 6x as cos power 4x into cos square x then sin power 4x by cos power 4x can be written as tan power 4x and 1 by cos square x can be written as secant square x now observe the formula this one same formula f power n x that is tan power 4x immediately we have the derivative of tan x that is secant square x derivative of tan x is secant square x so the answer is tan power 5x here we have tan power 4x right increase 1 by 5 plus c so write the formula there okay simple problem and important problem for two marks next pro uh, ninth tenth problems here also we have uh, some important uh, some shortcut method uh, formulas that is in this one here we have one formula that is integration e power f of x into f dash x dx already i given i gave this formula so e power f of x plus c is the answer so here the derivative 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 of x plus 1 by x is derivative of x is x derivative 1 and 1 by x derivative is minus 1 by x square into dx so as the derivative is x derivative is 1 1 by x derivative is minus 1 by x square into dx so here that is clearly of the form e power x plus 1 by x which is f of x into 1 minus 1 by x square into dx derivative of f of x is f dash x here it is in this form therefore the answer is e power f of x that means e power x plus 1 by x plus c this is the answer so this is the uh, formula so uh, if you want to uh, solve this problem by using substitution method then let us take x plus 1 by x is equal to t and uh, 1 minus 1 by x squared dx is equal to dt then e power t dt e power t is the answer then substitute like this okay so these type of formulas uh, we can apply in competitive examinations that's why learn these shortcut methods also next in this one uh, we have one formula that is integration 1 by under root of 1 minus x square i am writing in numerator 1 by under root of 1 minus x square by denominator we have sin inverse x into dx now observe the formula which i gave in previous videos that is f dash x by root f of x dx formula is 2 root f of x plus c so here root f of x means sin inverse x the derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by under root of 1 minus x square 1 by under root of 1 minus x square which is the numerator into dx the answer is 2 root f of x which is equal to sin inverse x plus c okay so identify the logic identify the formula is very very important and here uh, the derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by under root of 1 minus x square right so we can we can uh, take sin inverse x is equal to t then 1 by under root of 1 minus x square dx is equal to dt by using that substitution method also we can solve this problem
Next problem, integration x square by under root of x plus 5 dx. Students, here if we have a, a, a square root term in denominator, so let us solve it uh, by taking x plus 5 is equal to t square or x plus 5 is equal to t. In textbook, they have taken uh, x plus 5 is equal to t. Here I am solving by taking x plus 5 is equal to t square. Then uh, from this t is equal to t square is equal to x plus 5 t is equal to square root of x plus 5 now uh, x plus 5 is equal to t square means x derivative dx phi derivative 0 t square derivative 2t t t t and also from this x is equal to t square minus 5 so from this substitute then you will get 1 by root x plus 5 means t or x plus 5 whole power 1 by 2 into x square here x value this one t square minus 5 whole square into dx dx value is 2t dt tt gets cancelled 2 constant right outside integration t square minus 5 whole square means a square t power 4 minus 2ab 10 t square plus b square 5 square 25 into dt okay now do integration 2 into integration t power 4 is t power 5 by 5 minus 10 into t square integration t cube by 3 plus 25 integration means 25 dt that is t plus c now substitute the value of t that is 2 okay multiply 2 also inside 2 into t by 5 2 by 5 t t means x plus 5 whole power 1 by 2 whole power 5 that is x plus 5 whole power 1 by 2 power 5 means 5 by 2 minus 10 by 3 into t cube that means x plus 5 whole power 3 by 2 plus 25 into x plus 5 power 1 by 2 plus c so this is the answer similarly we can solve this problem so in the root we have x plus 4 so x plus 4 is equal to t square which implies t is equal to square root of x plus 4 from this uh, derivative dx is equal to 2t dt next from this x is equal to t square minus 4 we need x plus 5 x plus 5 is equal to t square plus 1 minus 4 plus 5 right so substitute 1 by x plus 5 value is t square plus 1 into root x plus 4 is t into dx is 2t dt t t gets cancelled 2 into under root 2 into integration 1 by 1 plus t square dt so that is 2 into 1 by 1 plus t square is nothing but tan inverse of t plus c so tan inverse of value of t is under root of x plus 4 plus c so this is the uh, way of substitution if we have a square root terms in denominator next uh, you can solve integration x by under root of 1 minus x dx problem we have uh, in solved pro uh, problems so this is by taking 1 minus x is equal to t square like this just now we have seen so like that you can solve otherwise in uh, solved problems they explain this problem with the trigonometric substitution please go through that method also okay so if we have square this problem also there by taking like this uh, uh, 1 minus x square is equal to t square or by using uh, trigonometric substitution we can solve this problem okay so please go through uh, with that methods also now these are uh, interesting problems we can write directly in mset or iit examination we can write directly the answer that is integration 1 by a square minus x square dx formula is sin inverse of x by a plus c integration 1 by a square plus x square dx is 1 by a tan inverse of x by a plus c these are the formula which we are going to use to solve these problems so first of all write uh, this problem like this 4 means 2 square minus 9x square means 3x whole square into dx this is of the form 
वन बै अंडर रूट आफ ए स्क्वे मैनस एक्स स्क्वे डी एक्स इज ईक्वल सैन इनवर्स आफ एक्स बै ए प्लस सी हियर अबर्व सैन इनवर्स आफ एक्स वाट इज एक्स एट द प्लेस आफ एक्स वी हेव थ्री एक्स रईट थ्री एक्स बै ए ए मीन टू बै सो बिफोर एक्स वी हेव वन कॉन्स्टेंट रईट इट इन दि नामेटर प्लस सी सो द आंसर इज वन बै थ्री सैन इनवर्स आफ थ्री एक्स बै टू प्लस सी सो द रईटिंग आफ द कोफिशेंट आफ एक्स इन डिनामेटर इज इंपारटेंट थिंग डोंट फर्गेट दैट एंड Uh, we can solve this problem by using substitution method. Let three x is equal to t, like that also. Now this is also of the form one by one plus four x square can be written as two x whole square. Now directly this is the formula one by a, one by a. A means one square. That is one into tan inverse of x by a. At the place of x we have two x by a means one by x coefficient to write in denominator the answer is 1 by 2 tan inverse of 2x let's see write the formulas here this is here and also here uh next problem 1 by 2 square minus x square okay direct formula that is sin inverse of x by a that is x by 2 here x coefficient is 1 so no need to write one in denominator Uh, students these are three important problem uh, formulas uh, which i have explained in previous videos so remember these three formulas important uh, here integration root x square minus a square dx root a square minus x square dx root a square plus x square dx observe the difference so first write x by 2 x by 2 x by 2 into same integrand then write a square by 2 So for this first formula, we have minus. For remaining two, we have plus. So already a square minus x square related with sine inverse x by a. We have one formula that is integration one by a square minus x square is equal sine inverse x by a. A square plus x square root is equal sine h inverse x by a. X square minus a square root means cos h inverse x by a plus c. So remember these formulas. So these are the two problems which are related to these formulas. Observe. So in textbook uh, they explain in different way. Just see here, this can be written as under root of nine x square means that can be expressed as three x whole square minus twenty five pi square into dx. So this is the formula. Integration under root of x square minus a square dx is equal to this one. Now write what is x here? Three x. x is 3x by 2 under root of x square minus a square as it is this one that is 3x whole square minus 5 square minus a square by 2 a square means 5 square by 2 into cos h inverse of x by a what is x here 3x by what is a 5 Okay, so integration completed. Now divided by the inner term is three x. X have coefficient three. Write it in denominator. That is important thing here. Okay, so write the coefficient of x in denominator as it is constant. And we did this type of problems. Now split it with three. That is three 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 cancel three x by two into three. Into nine x square minus twenty five minus five square twenty five by two into three. I am dividing three to these two terms. Okay, so now cos h inverse of three x by five plus c. Okay, so three three gets cancel. Final answer is x by two under root of nine x square minus twenty five minus twenty five by six cos h inverse of three x by five. Plus C, okay. Simple problem. These two concentrate. Similar problem. So which can be expressed as under root of sixteen means four square, twenty five x square, five x whole square, five x whole square. This is of the form 
ए स्क्वेर माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर डी एक्स ए स्क्वेर माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर डी एक्स सो एक्स बै टू एक्स वट इज एक्स हियर फाइव एक्स फाइव एक्स बै टू इंटू अंडर रूट आफ सेम टर्म दट इज फोर स्क्वेर माइनस फाइव एक्स होल स्क्वेर प्लस ए स्क्वेर बै टू ए स्क्वेर मीन हियर ए कॉन्स्टेंट फोर स्क्वेर बै टू इंटू सैन इन वर्स आफ एक्स बै ए फाइव एक्स बै फोर डिवेडेड बै राइट दि को एफिशियंट आफ एक्स दट इज फाइव प्लस सी नौ डिवेड वित् फाइव फाइव एक्स बै टू इंटू फाइव अंडर रूट आफ फोर स्क्वे सिक्सटीन माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्स स्क्वे फोर स्क्वे सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन बै टू दट इज एट सिक्सटीन बै टू एट बै फाइव बै फाइव सैन इन वर्स आफ फाइव एक्स बै फोर प्लस सी सो फाइव फाइव गेट कैंसल दिस इज द आंसर एक्स बै टू अंडर रूट आफ सिक्सटीन माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्स स्क्वे प्लस एट बै फाइव सैन इन वर्स आफ फाइव एक्स बै फोर प्लस सी सो प्लीज रीजन वन अगेन दिस वीडियो एंड सॉलव दि प्रॉब्लम्स वी मे गेट टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो इन इंटरमीडियट पब्लिक एग्जामेशन ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स सो विथ दिस वी हेव कंप्लीटेड एक्सरसाइज सिक्स बी टोटल प्रॉब्लम्स एंड रिलेटेड सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स आल्सो ओके डू प्रैक्टिस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न an uh, interesting topic about pro, uh, integration by parts method integration by parts method okay thank you